Echo, it's a dangerous place, but somehow everybody's staying safe. Echo, you need to find a way back home. Whoa, whoa, your way back home. Terabyte daily vlogs. I can hear like the bridge, it'll stop and be like. Da -da -da. Maybe like bass only. And like, it'll be like. So something will be repeated over and over. Morning, guys! So I'm starting my summer class today at UCF. I have it two times a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, yeah, apparently it's an intense class. It's called modeling for real time systems, like modeling stuff probably 3D modeling or something like that. Um, so that's going to be interesting. For those of you that don't know what I'm going to school for, it's digital media with a web design track. And uh, that's that. So I just got the new Starbucks Physio. It's Starbucks soda, pretty much. All natural, no preservatives or uh, high corn fructose syrup or whatever. And uh, they are supposed to pour in front of you, which they did, to give you the full experience. And, uh, the straw is different. It's like a neon green, kind of. Um, so, I don't know, they're going all out for the soda. But I got the spiced root beer, and to be honest, I don't really like it. <laughs> it's not terrible, I'm not, it's not like, oh, I hate it, and I'm not gonna drink it or anything. It's okay, and it's kind of refreshing, but... I don't know, it tastes weird. Like, I'm not a fan of it. So I guess, the, uh, I mean, of course I have to try like almost everything that Starbucks puts out. So I will end up trying the other two flavors that they have. It's like a ginger ale flavor and a lemon flavor or something like that. Um, probably later today. They're not very expensive, which is good. It's like two bucks. I mean, it's probably still overpriced for what the ingredients probably are, but whatever. I'll try everything once. <laughs> so, yep, I'm going to school, getting on the highway, gotta get off the camera. Bye! It's so hot in the car that I can't even sit in there until it cools off a little bit. Holy crap. So I just got out of class, and uh, it's gonna be really hard. Apparently this class is a... Uh, it's like a 3D modeling class, I'm using Maya, and apparently it's a pretty hard class, and normally it's 15 weeks of class, but I'm doing the semester B summer class, and those are really, really, really quick, so I'm doing it in six weeks, and that's like half the time, <laughs> more than half the time of the normal semester, so it's like gonna be really intense. I'm a little bit worried. At least it's the only class I have to concentrate on. Okay, let's get home. I'm finally going to finish my taxes up. Freaking how many months late? <laughs> I, I had an extension, um, so I had until October, but not really because I have to do my FAFSA if I want to get student aid, you know, for my school by June 30th, which is very soon. So I had to get my stuff done quickly this week because uh, I, I didn't realize that I had to when I did the extension or whatever I was like oh I have until October what is it September October whatever it's fine and then uh, I realized that you once you turn 24 years old you have to you're independent you're considered independent and you can't because you, I normally would put my parents tax information into my FAFSA and uh, my parents taxes are done but I gotta put my own I guess which yeah, it's really annoying. I hate taxes. Okay, so I got my taxes over with, but a lot of the terabyte stuff is in DJ's name. So it's really complicated going through everything that we purchase and try to find all the write-offs. And I thought I got everything, but I didn't go through all of our bank stuff. And I'm finding a lot more write-offs, like including our Xbox One. And, and that's a write-off for us because we make a lot of money um, from our gaming channel, and it's like a business. <laughs> um, yeah, so when you when you have to do taxes, 
Don't forget to find write-offs because they really help you. So we got three, all three flavors of the sodas. Um, I, well, we, they're not sodas, they're called uh, Fizios. Fizios. Um, it's like Vizio except with fizz. <laughs> and the straws are like swirly. <laughs> And they're like neon green instead of like dark green. But anyways, uh... Does anyone else do that? Like when you open a straw, you like look in the hole to make sure there's like nothing in there? You're weird. DJ wanted to try the spice root beer. I don't like it. Alright, so. There's lemon ale, uh, lemon ginger ale, and spice root beer. I kind of like it. You like it? It might... Let me see if it tastes better than the first one I had. It tastes like real root beer. It tastes, it tastes a little bit better than the one I had this morning. Maybe they made it different. I don't know. Oh, you already told them you already tried this? Yeah. This is lemon ginger ale. I'm not, I'm not a fan of that. So this root beer kind of tastes like a natural... Yeah, it all tastes natural. Well, actually, it kind of has like a fake sugar taste. This tastes like... Um, you know those freezer pops? Like, the, the kind that's in the plastic tube that's really long, and you can get all different Kool-Aid flavors of them. It tastes like the lemon, or like a lemon version. This is just the lemon ale, right? I don't know. I think this that's is... That's the ginger ale. Oh, this is the lemon ginger ale. This is... This one's the best one. This is like watered down lemonade. Yeah. Kind of. yeah. This tastes like... Okay. Actually, I hate ginger ale, but this is actually pretty good. I like it. I'm sorry. I actually really like that one. Yeah, I like this one the best so far. This one's like watered down lemonade, kind of. So you like the root beer one the best? I hate the root beer one. I oh. like this one better than this one. It goes like this for me. <laughs> better, worse, worse. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that is our full review of the video of drinks at Starbucks. Yeah, this one's like a joke. I don't get The this lemon one. ale one? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely, I don't like the spice and the root beer This one's good, it's refreshing. Yeah, that one's the best one, I think. I'll take this one. This will be mine. I'll take this one. We'll give this one to Mark. <laughs> okay. Where's Mark? I don't know. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and give this a rating. I give it a uh, 5 out of 10. I say like on a scale of like... Because I'm neutral. <laughs> a scale of 1 to 10. Okay. I give it a... I, I, rate the, eh. I rate the root beer and the lemon ginger ale 5 out of 10. And I rate the lemon the lemon ale like 3 out of 10. Because it's just like ridiculously bad. I don't I'm, think it's that it's ridiculously bad. I'm not getting those again. It tastes like something. I don't know what it is. That's what, it tastes like a freezer pop thing. Like one of those frozen Kool-Aid things that you have as a kid that you have to squeeze out of the plastic. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> not sweet. Not as sweet as that, though. I don't know. Yeah, but it reminds me of it. It's nothing special. I mean, try it if you want, but the root beer, I think, is... If you like root beer, you'll like it. I like I love root beer and I don't like it. Well, it, I don't like the spice because it's root beer spice or something. It's a uh, lot lighter than normal root beer. It has a weird spice in it and it tastes freaking weird. I, yeah. I want the spice gone and just drink root beer. <laughs> but to be clear though, the people making it, um, well, one of them, like there's two, there's a guy and a girl making it and the guy seemed like it, he might have knew what he's doing but like he just like found, just learned because I mean they just came out today. And he was showing the girl how to do it. I think the girl might have made a, a couple drinks. So it's possible they weren't done to their full quality, but. No, I think. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of probably never gonna get this again. <laughs> yeah, it's like it's not bad and I'm gonna drink it, and then like it's, it's nothing I wanna get again, you know? Usually when I go to Starbucks, I just get, because I've been avoiding like huge amounts of caffeine and sugar which I'm kind of breaking the sugar rule right now. But usually I go and get an unsweet black tea and it's nothing like special, but it's pretty freaking good black tea. That is, it refreshes me, you know? And it's, it's not that expensive either, so. That's usually what I get. I think I'm gonna continue to get that because this is not changing my mind. Plus it has sugar in it, so it's kind of cheating. <laughs> you just got vi- Okay, actually, I think you guys need a little explanation of why I've been gone for a while. Some of you have been asking, like, where I've been, and I didn't die. I just, my, this camera, it, yeah, it broke, and it doesn't work. 
And then I just got my laptop out of the shop because the hard drive was messed up. So I just, and I've been procrastinating it. So I just got it back out of the shop and the hard drive is actually wiped clean. So I have to like, oh, it's crazy. But I got it back. So that's good. So back to, back to this. So you just got VL'd. <laughs> You might not be a troll, but you're not very nice.